Hello angels, queens and babies, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Emma Rose Hamilton and this is my Tranquil Vibe channel. Hello and welcome to another video. So today we're going to get into it straight away because I tell you what, uni is around the corner. What are we wearing people? We need to know. There's a lot going to be a lot of first years going. Second year, third year, what are you taking? What are you wearing? We all need to discuss. So I have put together, I have actually done this video once before, no that's such a lie, I've done it twice before, once at uni, once last year and I'm going to do it this year and really just improve on what are the core staples that everyone needs to be taking to uni. So this isn't like, oh my god I've got my funky fashion, this is the staples. So if you're struggling with what to take to uni, stick around. First I am going to go in with tops. Now I'm not going to go too much into detail, like I said this is not about fashion, it's about staples. I basically want to make sure you are not taking excessive amounts to uni because you are not going to have good draw space. Yeah you can take a plastic box and put it under your bed but I'm telling you for a fact I've done three years and not once did I get that box out from under my bed. I was like extra storage, I put a big box in my wardrobe. I mean, I pulled stuff out of that, but it just makes a mess. That was one. Two in first year, I had two flatter boxes that went under my bed. I didn't touch them at all. There was absolutely no need for them. So we're going to try and like cut it right back to the staples and then you can build out once you're at uni. So let's get into it. So what I picked out, what was I wearing the most? What is the most versatile outfit top choice? And the first item is inside out. The only tops I'm going to really feature in this haul are bodysuits. I have a black and a white one, two bodysuits. These are going to see you through uni. I have had these for years now. This one is from Zara. I think you can still purchase these. These are still on the site. Only cheap. I'm going to say around £12, if not cheaper. Um, they're really not expensive at all. Um, white one you're going to put on with your jogger, your jeans, your skirt. You can wear it out, dress it up, you can put it down, blazer over the top. There's just so much you can do. A full black outfit, easily done. You don't need a bra on with these, they're super comfy. If you're going to be hung over in a lecture, throw this on with some joggers and trainers, you're gonna look cool, ready for the show. So definitely two bodysuits. I'd say three maximum. Black, white and a colour. The colour can be your night out one. It could be if you just want a bit of colour in your wardrobe. But remember, when you go to uni, it is September. We're coming into the autumnal seasons. This is your chance to get your staples together and not take in crazy colours that you're not going to like in a couple of months' time. I'm telling you now. <laughs> Definitely two bodysuits, if not three. Three is maximum for bodysuits. Um, and this one's Stradivarius on... ASOS, it's the exact same material and quality, no bra needed, pulls you in, you look great put together without putting much work in. Um, it's just a bit sassier than a t-shirt is what is all I'm saying. Um, this one again was about £12, really not expensive. With sizing, I'm just going to say size down. I got these in a small, I'm size 8 to 10 um, because then it's going to hold everything in place. You don't want it baggy, it's not meant to be baggy. Um, so definitely size down or true to size to keep that sucked in look. Next for kind of tops I am going to suggest two I repeat two maximum t-shirt dresses I've just got Rachel into these and she absolutely loves to throw these on just to come round um, these are good to just chilling in your halls you just throw your t-shirt dress on you can go out in them you can do these in your little trainers to go out in like a little high top um, white trainers, sunglasses, you know, just really easy to style. Maybe for your lecture if it's a kind of a warm day. Um, they're just really good to throw on, even hungover. Throw this on so you're not in your PJs. And you're just going to feel a little bit put together. This one was from ASOS. I actually got this for my 21st birthday and I'm now 22. So that shows that I'm showing you things that I really am wearing. Um, and I wore a lot of t-shirt dresses at uni also. Even if you're going on like a night out and you know the ones where you're going to get like wet or... There's like foam everywhere. These are gonna wash well. It's only a t-shirt dress and they're only cheap. You can get these from like 10 pound on PLT. I do have a couple of nice nude ones. Obviously this is pink. It's the only one I can find right now. Um, but yeah, you can get some really nice ones on PLT. I'd go nude, white's really nice. Imagine white, black blazer, black high top. That's your outfit ready for uni and you've got hardly anything on and you're gonna feel chill, comfy, things that you can throw on for many different occasions, which is what you want at uni. Next, I'm going to go on to the most essential thing for uni, and it is a jumper jogger set. 
So, as you can see here, you know I've raved about this for a long time now. This is my Weekend Collective Jumper Jogger set. It's just got a nice little emblem here and this is from ASOS. So I've just got like a nice oversized crew neck jumper and I have the matching, matching joggers. This is going to cost you a bit but hopefully you do already have one because these have been in fashion for a while now. These are going to be great to throw on for your lectures to throw on when you're hanging, to go to the shops in when you're doing your shopping. Just to feel a bit put together, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even mind wearing this to a lecture and then going to the pub in them afterwards. This with a blazer over the top, you put together. This with your trench coat, your puffer. It just feels a bit more put together than a hoodie and a jogger that are different colours. I do think um, having a matching set is really helpful. I'm going to say one matching set, so I would choose your colour wisely. White is great for me because I love like neutrals, um, but you might want to go black. You can't go wrong with black or grey. Um, or if you're feeling a bit funky, why don't you go for a nice like navy or like a pink or a blue, but I'm just thinking, if you're wearing a black, people aren't gonna go, oh, I remember in that, whereas people are gonna go, oh, she wore that she wore that green jumper jug set last week so I would definitely stick to a neutral but if you're feeling funky you get your colour baby I'm not here to judge um, but yeah this is just gonna be easy to throw on it's nice to just go out in and feel a bit cool white trainer I mean with literally any colour white trainer you can do it with your blazer your puffer your trench it's that simple this is what I mean it's just knowing what to take once you've got that you can then pair these with anything this and the black bodysuit and a puffer this and jeans dress it up dress it down people this is what it's about speaking of joggers i am going to say maximum two pairs of joggers the reason being for this is because they are thick they are going to take up a lot of room and you're not going to have a lot of space so definitely only two pairs of joggers so i would choose wisely with colors with jumpers you're allowed one from your jumper jogger set and then i'm giving you an additional other crew neck jumper and two hoodies so that is it for jumpers and hoodies two crew neck two hoodies the end i don't want to hear any complaining if you're writing this down don't you dare write any more than that four you're allowed four so i've gone for white as you see which is a part of my jumper jogger set and then i'm just gonna go for this fun color just for a bit of difference this with the white joggers this with a pair of leggings this with some shorts cycling shorts this with a little skirt just to make it fun with a little high top shoe this is what it's about so this one is actually from goose and gander this was gifted to me and they do have a back to uni range which is super cute i just thought this was a nice pop of little color into this uni staple which is all basically neutrals fun it's super soft i got this in a size medium just so it's a bit more oversized we want the oversized relaxed look we want to be going to into those lectures hungover feeling comfy we do not to be wearing jeans when we are hungover in a lecture do we no we don't so yeah this is the jumper i'm recommending just anything crew neck that's the two next i am allowing two hoodies or alternatively a hoodie and a zip up i've recently got into zip ups i love to wear mine on the beach i'm not too sure about the uni vibe just because i think they are a little harder to style because i feel like that with leggings is just a bit mm, it takes a bit more to style a zip up i personally believe i guess you could do like zip up jogger denim jacket over something like that um but i've just got two plain hoodies these are both from plt as you can see i've gone black and white because i can style these with anything say i buy some funky pants at uni i can then style it with my white or my black i'm not like oh is it gonna go with my mint green and chocolate no you want to keep to the neutral so i seem very aggressive i just want to make sure this is direct Okay, but these are both from PLT. These have both lasted me through uni. Um, I got them in a size small. You can go medium to make it a bit more oversized. I wouldn't say this is too oversized, to be honest, um, which you kind of want just for that like slouchy, cool look. Same with the black. Love the black. If there's one thing, if you're not too into your fashion and you're unsure, black is the easiest thing. A full black outfit, no one's going to batter an eyelid. No one's going to think what are they wearing. It's all black. You really can't go wrong. So if you're struggling with your fashion and your staples, stick to black before, before veering off into your creams, your beiges, your greys, your whites. Black is the easiest one to start with, hands down. So again, this is PLT, size small. I wouldn't mind these being a little bit more oversized, but imagine I'm wearing this, I'm wearing black leggings, I'm wearing my black high tops, like, 
Converse and a puffer. Super cool, your hair's slightly back, super cool and ready to work, ready to go to uni, ready to be hanging. We love. Alternatively, so it's two hoodies or one hoodie, one zipper. Everyone knows I'm absolutely raving about this H&M zip up at the moment. It's just super, I did get this in a medium because the small wasn't oversized enough. So this is lovely for that oversized vibe. But oh look, because I have the white jogger, this matches, so I could do this zipped up, slouchy, off the shoulder, hair up, chill vibes. Imagine a full white outfit and the zip up over the top. Like, she, everyone's gonna be like, oh, she could be hungover, but she could have like styled that. Who knows? Because she looks cool. That is the vibe we're going for, people. So, repeat after me, write this down for your checklist. You're allowed two crew neck jumpers, one is with your jumper jogger set, either two hoodies or a hoodie and a zip up, the end. Next, we are going to be moving on to bottoms, pants, whatever you'd like to call them. So this is a tricky section because pants are obviously more material. This is what's gonna take up your space in your wardrobe. So this is where we need to be the most clever with what we're taking. So I've really tried to strip this back. So, so far we've got one or two pairs of joggers which are quite thick, a lot of material, and they don't fold too well to make space. So let's try and cut it back and keep it good. So after the joggers, the next kind of pants I'm going to recommend is just a pair of really good quality black leggings. So these are Gymshark ones. I think it's the Seamless Collection. Got these in a size small, which are great for a size eight to 10. Um, and I'm going to recommend these because you're gonna throw these on. Imagine that, you zip up and a black shoe done and a puffer done you're gonna wear these if you're going to the gym you need a pair of gym pants they're just really comfy library vibes you can go in leggings even maybe this hoodie blazer cool vibes ready to go to the library we're thinking like we're trying to get comfy fashion i think two maximum if you've got one good quality that's fine but you're obviously gonna have to wash them quite a lot and um, so i'm going to recommend two pairs of leggings preferably both black but I'm not opposed to a um, legging and like sports bra co-ord because then we could do like the coloured the coloured sports bra, the coloured leggings, and the zip up. That's kind of cool. So I'm not opposed to leggings aren't going to take up much room. So but I'm still saying two maximum just because we've already got two pairs of joggers. Um, but that's it for the first pair of pants. Next, I am going to recommend some kind of flared pant, whether it's wide leg or flared, just one of these. So these are my like croc style ones and they do flare at the bottom. These are from Topshop, they're in a size 10, just because they weren't high waisted. You, sometimes, you know when you have to, oh, don't get me started, you know when you have to like figure out some of them aren't high waisted, for what reason, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna say like one pair of flared pants these I'm dressing up or down. I'm gonna wear them with my heel and maybe some kind of little crop top bralette, night out vibe. I'm gonna wear this with the blazer over the top, night out vibe. I'm gonna wear it with the hoodie and blazer, library lecture vibe. So some, you want something, you can get a funky color. I'm gonna allow two pairs of these. One funky, one staple. Obviously black is the most staple. You can throw this on with a t-shirt, like an oversized t-shirt and your white trainers, cool vibes. Remember that oversized t-shirt? Yep, that was your t-shirt dress. Imagine if you had a white one of them, these, and a trainer. You can have a baggy, cool look for the library. Um, so yeah, you can wear these for nights out and also daytime if you just want it to feel a bit fashionable for uni. But this is going to have a maximum of two capacity for your wardrobe space because they're not going to take up too much room but you know we want to keep it simple so maximum of two next for the bottoms i am going to recommend some cycling shorts you might be thinking emma what are you talking about but you can glam these up or you can glam them down your oversized t-shirt dress and these imagine white you've got your cycling shorts on and a trainer and then your bomber super cool easy they're, they're basically a short legging aren't they so if it's a bit of a warmer day oh, you, you just want your legs out it's just like a nice little alternative a short maybe it's getting a bit nicer you can put your t-shirt dress on like bag it fold it under your bra nice and baggy white trainers and these on you can wear these on a night out i love 
again an oversized t-shirt like it was super baggy maybe hair slick up in a bun your clear heel and these super easy to style with everything I have said thus far these are from Adidas you don't need a pair from Adidas you can get a pair from PLT ASOS for probably about £10 um, I'm not too sure how much these were and I did get in a size 10 interesting now we are getting into the danger zone repeat actually listen carefully to what I'm about to say you are allowed two maximum pairs of jeans this is what is going to take up the most room in your drawer space so we want to keep this to a minimum so I'm going to recommend a pair of black and a pair of blue so I'm just going to show you my favorite jeans that saw me I don't know if they did see me through uni, but they're just bloody lovely. Um, these are from Zara. They're a wide leg, which is my favourite style of jean. I can wear these with a clear heel, a bodysuit, and a blazer, night out vibes. I could do the same with my white trainer. I'm ready to go to the pub. This and the zip up off the shoulder, cool, ready for the library. Now, this is why we want the neutral outfits, because we can make them look cool. And the thing is, I find that Molly May wears loads of neutral outfits, and she looks bomb 24 7 so i would definitely start with the neutrals but two maximum pairs of jeans so make sure they're your favorite because they're going to see you through and then the last item for bottoms is i'm just going to recommend just like a little staple skirt and um, you could get a little crop top to go with this like a little black bralette or something this is actually a skirt i would always recommend a skirt because it means you can get down in the club you can have your flats on a skirt to feel cute, a nice little top on and you can get down without anything flashing that you don't want anyone to see. Um, instead of taking these like cute little dresses and whatever, skirts people, they are the future. I have been raving about these, I've had these since, I'm pretty sure I had them since first year and I've worn them all the way through. I still take these on holiday with me now and I just think they're super cute. This, you could even do this with a bodysuit if you really wanted um, and it's just a cute little thing to pop on for a night out if you don't want everything on short. Maybe it's like a, a uni night out, you go in trainers, you go in cash, and it's just a way to look a little bit dressy. Moving on to jackets. Now this is dangerous territory. This is where we start to fill up the back of our door, which looks clunky and awful. This is where we start to fill up the wardrobe and it looks clunky and awful. So we're gonna keep this to a minimum. So the first jacket or overcoaty kind of thing I will be suggesting is my favourite staple, a black blazer, a good quality black blazer. These are super easy to dress up and dress down. I have had this all through uni. You can see in some of my old vlogs, I actually wore this out with a belt around it. I would now wear this without the belt and just oversize. You could do this with your black high top, you could do this with your clear heel, black bodysuit, white joggers, this and my white trainers. Boom, that's your outfit ready for your lecture. They're just a really good way to kind of dress up any outfit. I'm thinking black leggings, black hoodie, and this over the top. It's just a way to look a little bit smarter than jogger set. So if I was wearing my jogger set, if I put the blazer over it, I'm gonna feel like a queen. There is a massive moth there. I'm fuming about it. If that comes anywhere near me, I'm gonna be fuming. Now these are expensive. You can obviously get cheaper ones, but I am going to recommend getting a good quality one that you know is gonna last you the years. So this is my Zara blazer. I love it, I've had it all the way through uni. It has no scratches, no tears, no stains because it's black and thick and it keeps me warm on a night out also. So this is definitely on the top of the priority list for jackets. Next for jackets, this is kind of a bit of a funky one, but I've actually gone for a bomber. Now this is the only new thing in the haul, um, and it is a bomber jacket. Now this is going to serve as your denim jacket. So you can either have this or a denim jacket, and this is what you're going to throw over any outfit on a night out. So you're thinking you've got your little skirt on, you've got your bodysuit, you've got your clear heel, bomber. I mean, you're not gonna wear it like, You'll throw it over your shoulders and round. See if I can show you. So I'm not gonna go out like this, like, hello everyone. It's just to kind of like throw down here and then when it gets cold, can you see? And then when it gets colder later on, you've got your jacket on ready to go home. It's so we're not freezing people. I mean, call me a mum, but we used to always wear our denim jackets out. And then you can just tie them around your waist while you're dancing. Same with this. Tie it around your waist while you're dancing. And then you pop it on ready to go back out because we are getting into those winter months when you are at uni. So I am recommending either one bomber jacket 
a one denim jacket. You can wear this with your hoodie, your leggings, your trainers and this over the top. You can wear it with your cycling shorts, baggy tee, this over the top. You can wear it with your jogger set. You can wear it with jeans and a bodysuit. It goes with everything people. Do you see how the staples are all building together? Final recommendation for jacket. I am going to suggest either a bomber like puffer jacket, you know like your North Face black puffer or alternatively a trench coat and I just think this is a really funky way to look sophisticated at uni. I'm thinking black leggings, black hoodie, this over the top. You're gonna look sassy and it's waterproof. This You need like your waterproof so you either have a puffer or this and that's what you're gonna put on when it's wet outside. I'd just like to make a side note and say a matching scarf and hat set is gonna be great for the winter one you can either have a cream or a black or a white that is it if you want to add some color that's absolutely fine but i'm only allowing one because the clunky you can only wear one at a time so why do you need more two i think is the absolute most but i'm just saying like one matching hat and scarf set to put to throw on with any of these outfits just to keep you warm on your way to uni you know you've got a lecture but you're going to go out for a drink afterwards so you're going to have your leggings, your hoodie and this on. You're gonna have your jeans, your bodysuit, your crew neck jumper, this on. You're gonna have your jumper jogger set on and this on. Moving on to the last section of this haul, so stick with me, you're nearly there, I promise. And I'm allowing four, maximum of four pairs of shoes. Number one whoop, is a pair of white trainers. This is gonna go with every single outfit I have just said. However, you are not going to wear these on a night out. Do you know why? Why am I? Because you will get them dirty, people will spill drinks on them, and they will be brown in the morning. So we do not wear these on nights out. These are strictly for fashion in the city. They are for the library. They are for lectures. They are for a couple of drinks after the library. These are not, I repeat, not your night out shoes. You will regret it, I promise. Next, I am allowing maybe two pairs of heels. So it's five pairs of shoes in total. The first pair is going to be your clear heels. Now, you've probably heard me talk about these so much because I've actually just fallen back in love with these. Um, these are my clear heels from Public Desire. I think I got these in first year of uni and they've seen me the whole way through. I still wear them now, because these are going to go with everything. Even if you do bring a big, big blue, bright, wavy, curly-whirly outfit, these are gonna go, because they're clear. They are clear heels. Um, I would say when you first start to wear them, put Vaseline on your toes, just so you don't get blisters, because that's not nice for anyone. I like to keep them nice and low, so I can still do a dance. I'm not taking crazy heels to uni, because I want a boogie. No one at uni wants to stand around looking nice, everyone wants to get down and have fun, so definitely a small heel, but I'm gonna recommend Public Desire, clear heels. I'm also going to allow for a pair of gym shoes if you're going to go to the gym. If not, leave it. Your white trainers are enough. And the last item of this uni staples is your night out shoes. Welcome to my night out shoes. These are my black Converse. They are still very mucky, but you can't tell because they're black. I'm going to wear these with my leggings and my hoodie. I'm going to wear these with my skirt. You can probably wear them with a cute little dress that you're going to go out in. And it just means you can go out, you have one pair of cruddy shoes that you don't mind getting dirty. So I would recommend them being black so you can't see the dirt. And these are what you're going to go out in. You're going to be running around the town. There's going to be no glam. You might do a glam night in your clear heels, but there's no, going to be no six inch heels. Everyone wants the flats and they want to be, they want to be getting here and there. So I'm going to recommend a nice pair of shoes that you don't mind getting dirty for your night out. But that my gorgeous AQBs is the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you have enjoyed. I post new content every single Wednesday and Sunday at 6pm. So make sure to come along if you want to see some more. And I will see you soon with another video. Bye.